Hi and welcome to the quick tutorial on glasses for GIMP. In the Creator Education Center there's also another version for Photoshop users as well. Here we'll see on the product page all of the textures that you'll need to be able to create the product. So we're going to download these textures and we're going to begin by opening GIMP or GIMP and file open. Go to the folder that you've got your textures saved in and we'll open the glasses texture first. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to click this little icon here, so just hit OK. What we're going to do is go to Image, Mode, and make sure that RGB is selected. Select our Rectangle Select tool up here in the top left corner. Click on the Glasses Bridge area. Hold down and drag until we've got that little corner selected. Go up to Select, Invert, and we will have the pink portion of our glasses texture selected. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our color is set at 32 BBB3 right here, or you can choose the color of your choice. Hit OK. We'll go to the paint bucket tool and we're going to fill in that new layer. Change the mode of the texture layer right here. We'll hit there and we'll go all the way down to darken only. And now you can see the color of your glasses texture has changed. We'll go to file, export as, we're going to click on select file type, scroll down and select JPEG. We're going to change the file name to glasses texture and hit export. And this little box will pop up right here and all you have to do is hit export and your texture is ready. Now let's move on to the, your lenses texture. Go to File, Open, and we're going to select this right here. You hit Open. Here we're going to click on the color, active background color, and we're going to type in the value of 005952 and hit OK. And now you can see that the background color has changed from green turquoise to dark green. To fill in the chosen color, we'll go back to the bucket fill icon, click that. We're going to hit another layer, hit OK. To fill your texture with the color we want, hit the bucket fill tool. We're going to move the mouse over the texture area and click on it. And then the color has changed from white to dark green. Now your lens texture is ready to be saved. All we do is follow the same steps we did to save the sunglasses frame texture by going to File, Export As, we'll hit Select File Type, scroll down until we see JPEG and change the name to Glasses Lenses and we'll hit Export. Just click Export again and now your lens texture has been saved. Now let's move on to creating your opacity map for your glasses lenses. Hit File, Open, and we're going to select the texture for your lens opacity. And you click Open and it brings up the opacity. Now you could use this opacity just as it is, or we can continue on and to create our own opacity. First we need to begin with making sure that our foreground color is set to black and our background color is set to white. And that would be the true white with six F's in the notation field. Now let's click on the gradient button, which is right here in the top left corner. Now we'll go down and make sure that our opacity is set to the correct setting of FG to BG RGB. Now we're going to create our gradient. We're going to click at the bottom of the canvas and drag up to the very top. Let go and we've begun creating our new gradient. What we're going to do is click the stop at the top of the canvas and make sure the X is at 125 and the Y is at 0 and the color is white. Now let's add two stops. These stops will allow us to control the color of the gradient. Click on the line here and then once again up here. Let's make sure that each stop has the right color and position values for our gradient. We'll click down at the bottom and we want to see 125 on the X axis and 256 on the Y axis. And up here at the top where it says position, we're going to make sure it says 15 and make sure that each of these are selected as black and hit OK. Now step number two, we're going to click on that and we're going to make sure the position is at 74 and make sure the left color and right color are set at white. Click OK and there we go. Now we're going to double check at this endpoint at the very top. Make sure that position is at X value of 125 and the Y axis is at zero. When the values are set, you click the enter key on your keyboard to apply the changes to the gradient. So let's save it following the same steps as we did as the previous. Going to File, Export, make sure we scroll down to hit JPEG, change the name, Lens Opacity, and then we hit Export, we hit Export again, and we're ready to plug it into the program. 